What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS4 overview. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at two new payloads that Lightning Mods has released and some pretty interesting things that they can do here. So one of them is the ability to automatically launch the Items Flow Homebrew app when you load Gold Hen. So it's kind of a combination. There is a separate payload that just launches the app, although I'm not sure why you would want that when you can just launch the app yourself anyway. The other one loads Gold Hen and then launches the app. And the reason for this is that the Items Flow Game Manager is trying to replace the kind of PS4 XMB, the current home menu that we're in right here, with a more homebrew focused version, which is what the Items Flow Game Manager is. However, of course, because we don't have like proper custom firmware for the PS4, we cannot have some kind of permanent persistent plugin where you reboot the PS4 and it's still running like custom dashboards that we had for modded Xbox 360s and, and other consoles that have custom firmware where you can basically, you know, just boot into an app automatically on launch. You can't obviously do that here because when you reboot your PS4, it's no longer jailbroken and it's not running any homebrew. Therefore, you have to, you know, load a payload like Gold Hen before you can then load any homebrew stuff. So this basically allows you to kind of have this item slow game manager as your kind of primary, you know, PS4 home menu, because whenever you launch Gold Hen, it will just boot you straight into it. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that right here. So firstly, if you want to try out this payload, because it's not available in most exploit hosts at the time of recording, there are a few exploit hosts that have added the payload in there, but most of them don't have it right now. So if we switch over to our desktop right here, we've got the items flow launcher on Ko-Fi from Lightning Mods. You don't have to donate. Obviously, I'm sure Lightning Mods would appreciate it if you uh, added a donation as well, but you can get the download if you don't want to donate. You just enter zero as the amount that you want to pay and then you can add it to cart. And then of course, you just need to be logged in or you can just enter an email address and a nickname and then click checkout. And then that will take you to the actual download here where you can view your content and then download it right here. So it's a zip file. In the zip file, you will find the IF launcher, items full launcher. If you extract that out to our desktop here, if we open this up, you can see we've got a few different versions. There's a 5.05 version, a 9.00 version, and a version that doesn't have a hen included. And then you've got the actual main payload here as well. If we go into the 9.00 version, you've got the payload.bin, which you can just inject using a payload injector like Netcat GUI. Or, of course, you can host it yourself because you have the web files for the exploit as well. So you can host this on like an XAMPP server, which is what I'm doing right here uh, with an Apache server or with, um, I think, Lethal's self-host or something like that. You could use any of those things or just, or just use an exploit host that has the payload already included. So we're going to take a look at that right here if I switch back over to the console here. So as you can see, the PS4 is not currently jailbroken. We've got the padlock symbol on everything. We don't have our gold hen uh, icon in the top left. So we're going to go ahead and load this up. So if we go to the following location, which for me is just going to be the IP address of my computer, which is hosting uh, this particular payload. So we're going to go to that location right here and it will load the exploit. And again, it just starts off loading the same way it would load any other gold hen payload where it will load the exploit and then it will prompt me to enter the USB drive that has the XFAT hack image on it. So we enter the USB drive, we wait about 5 or 10 seconds for that message to pop up saying it's unsupported. And then we click OK. It loads the XFAT hack image. And there we go, loading payload, remove USB. And there it is, detecting firmware 9.00 and now it's automatically booting me straight into items flow and it has loaded the gold hen payload. And by the time you get the message that Gold Hen has been loaded, you're already in the Items Flow Game Manager and you can access any of the stuff you want to access from here. You can launch your games, your apps. You can, of course, you know, dump your games. You can import uh, modded save files and many, many other things that this has as well. So this is kind of another step forward in kind of turning this into your kind of default home menu because, you know, you have to launch Gold Hen anyway in order to jailbreak your PS4. So if you want to use Items Flow as your main manager, if this is what you primarily use to launch your games and, you know, access all of the stuff, again, dumping your games, importing save files, uh, whatever it is that you want to do, the NFS share functionality, then you're going to be in Items Flow most of the time anyway. So being able to automatically boot you straight in there as soon as Gold Hen's loaded just saves you a little bit of time there and can help this kind of feel like it is a default home menu 
which is what it's trying to be. Plus, if you go into the settings, you can, of course, make sure you have set as default dashboard turned on, uh, which also helps make this more of a default dashboard for uh, the PS4, because then anything that you launch, like, for example, if we launch the Gold Hen Cheats Manager here, um, we'll go ahead and launch that. And then once it launches, if you hit the PS button, it will automatically take you back into items flow as well. So that way, again, you don't have to go back to the normal PS4 home menu, which kind of breaks the illusion of this replacing the home menu and being its own separate dashboard. So again, it's kind of like the next best thing, I suppose, to actually having a proper replacement for the PS4 home screen. Because again, without custom firmware, there's no way to have a kind of persistent plugin, at least not that's been discovered so far, where you can have, you know, a plugin that's always running, that's always going to boot you straight into something like this when you turn the system on. But having it load automatically after you load Gold Hen is pretty much the next best thing if this is how you want to use your PS4. Of course, there's kind of two different approaches. You've got Lightning Mods, and his approach here seems to be to just replace the PS4 home menu with his own custom homebrew version. And then you have people like Sistro and the Gold Hen team who are more into augmenting the existing PS4 XMB, the existing home menu here, by, you know, replacing stuff that is not useful on a jailbroken PS4 with stuff that is, like the Gold Hen menu that's here integrated into the current PS4 home menu. So kind of two different approaches to having a custom dashboard. So another useful release from Lightning Mods is a payload that will automatically install the homebrew store for you by just going to a link in the PS4's web browser. So this is going to be very useful for anybody who's just, you know, either reinstalling uh, their PS4 or they're setting up their jailbreak for the first time on the PS4. Normally, you would have to at least install one homebrew app using a separate device to copy the package file over to a USB and install it with a package installer or with FTP. However, with this, you can just, you know, as soon as you jailbreak your PS4, even if you have nothing on there, you can just go to this link in the web browser, download the homebrew store automatically, and then you can hop on the homebrew store and install any other homebrew apps that you want from there. For example, Apollo, the patch installer, you know, PS4 Explorer, uh, Items Flow itself, the Gold Hen Cheat Manager, those would be my go-to applications I'd install after first jailbreaking the system. So if we head onto the internet browser to take a look at how we do this, all you need to do is go to the following website, which is pkg-zone.com forward slash install. If we head to that website, it will redirect us to the payload, which will then execute the payload and then download the homebrew store from the server. So there we go, starting the online store installer. And if we head back here, oh, I still have items flow open. Didn't realize I still had that loaded. There we go. As you can see, homebrew store has loaded successfully. So it's been da automatically downloaded onto our PS4. So, you know, if you just jailbroke your PS4, you could just do this and now you have the homebrew store on there and then you can hop on the homebrew store and that will allow you to download any other homebrew applications that you want directly onto your system over the internet without requiring any separate device to do so. And there's no reason why this payload couldn't be augmented to do the same thing for other homebrew apps as well. So for example, I'm, I was thinking potentially maybe an online homebrew store would be possible as well in future, where essentially you just go to a website that has a bunch of links to all the different applications, and then you just select the one you want, and it will use that same payload to install that application instead. So instead of having a ho dedicated homebrew store app like this, you could have like a web-based version where you just go to a website and then pick whatever you want to download, and it will use the payload to automatically install it for you. So um, yeah, that could be something that we may see in the future as well. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Some good new payloads there from Lightning Mods. One that automatically launches the Items Flow application to help sort of cement Items Flow as more of a replacement for your PS4 XMB. And of course, also the Homebrew Store installer so that you don't need a separate device when you first set up your PS4 uh, to install the first Homebrew app. You just install the Homebrew Store and then use that to install all of your other Homebrew applications. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll see you guys in the next video.